What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I wanna see what it's gonna look like if I put a wheel spacer on the wheel here of my 66 Mustang. When I bought these wheels, I wasn't able to buy the backspacing that I was looking for because of the size of the wheel. And so I kinda had to compromise and I got a little bit different uh, backspacing than what I wanted. And one of the options to fix that is to put in wheel spacers. But there is kind of a, a debate on if that's good or if that's worth doing. In fact, real quick for the guys that aren't familiar, your wheels, like for example, these are 16 by 7 inch wheels. And they are 8 inches wide. So every wheel, whatever size it is, it's going to be 1 inch wider than what it says it is. And that's what you're going to use when you figure out your backspacing. So in this case, uh, th these wheels here have a 4 inch backspacing, which means that it's four inches from the other side of the wheel to the back side of this hub where it bolts up onto the car. Now, that means that if I, you know, because it's a 16 by seven, it's actually a 16 by eight wheel, um, but you only measure the seven because of the, for the tire. But, uh, so I wanted actually a three and three quarter inch or 3.75 inch backspacing, which would have essentially allowed this wheel to be a quarter inch farther out. Uh, and what, what that will do is just get this tire and everything closer to the fender and it kind of gives it more of an aggressive look. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell here, but uh, it looks like it's pretty far out right here. But I had on my last car, I had uh, 3.75 inch backspacing on the wheels, but I had 15 by sevens. And I know you can get it in that 15 inch wheel, but in the 16 inch wheel, I wasn't able to find the backspacing I was looking for. So one of the options that we can do is put a wheel spacer in there. This is a five millimeter spacer, so it's not quite exactly the quarter inch difference that we're looking for. And if I take the wheel off and I put this on there, it's going to move the wheel out away from the car five millimeters, or in this case, almost a quarter of an inch, and it will almost simulate that 3.75 inch backspacing that I was looking for. The problem is, is there's kind of a it's kind of a debate on if you should be using these or not, particularly this style, because what this does is, while it goes behind the wheel on the hub, it shortens the available threads on the the wheels here on this the wheel studs, and that may be a problem, depending on how long your studs are. I believe these are one and five eighths long, so if I take a five millimeter, we'll just call it a quarter inch for the sake of this. I take a quarter inch off of that one and five eighths stud. Now I have a one and three eighths worth of thread. And then there's the thickness to the wheel, so that's gonna make it even less thread. So there's a, the part where it could be, you know, almost dangerous to put something like this in there because you're not engaging maybe enough of the threads. Now you can go in and put longer studs and change that up. Also you can buy thicker, you know, wheel spacers where it's so thick that it gives you a place to put a lug nut to bolt this to the hub, and then you've got new studs coming out that the wheel bolts to. Now, I don't want to go that far. That's typically in the half inch, three quarter inch, and more, you know, uh, wheel spacing range, and I only want to do just a little bit to get this where I want it to be. So I'm going to take this off the car, take the wheel off, and we're going to put this on there and see how it comes out with this spacer. One thing I should point out uh, before you, you buy these is you, ne you need to know what this hub diameter is. And the reason why is what you don't want is to buy a wheel spacer that this is so large that you worry about the play of the, the slop here in the bolts. And in this case, these are pretty tight and that's pretty good. That's what we're looking for. But there are some spacers out there that, there's a, that, they're, that the, the hole is larger to make to fit more cars and then sometimes this is larger. So when you put this on there, this hub, it could be kind of floating around like that and you really don't want it to be moving too much because it can kind of throw your, your wheel out of balance. Now this is towards the center of the axle and it's less of an issue, but try to find a, a, a spacer that's as close to that hub diameter as you can. So put that on there, good to go. Now what we've done is again, we've shortened the available threads by, by five millimeters. So I'm gonna put the car, the tire on and see, see how it came out. So it's kind of hard to tell on the camera here, 
um, and I don't remember how much you could see in the beginning of the video, but this wheel is a lot closer to the edge of this fender, and it does give it just that little bit more aggressive of a look. Next thing you want to do is turn the wheel back and forth and see if the tire is going to rub on, particularly on these cars, it would be the inside of this fender right in here. So in this case, I have quite a bit of clearance in here, which is good. As you saw that tire kind of rotate through its, its range of motion here, we didn't get close in touching these. So, and I had already rolled these fenders before, so I knew that I was going to be dealing with a, a wider setup. But I think this looks good. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep it though, because again, there's still quite a bit of thread left. And I don't know if you could tell that earlier, but there's still a lot of thread left for these to, ga to engage, but they're not always the perfect solution. So, you know what, what I'd like to hear is from you guys, comment down below what you think about spacers in this particular category, not half inch spacer, three quarter inch spacers, but in this one, like this five millimeter spacer, you could say that it didn't really do much. I can tell already that it looks a little bit, you know, the tire's a little bit farther out, but what do you guys think? Do you think this is a waste of time? Do you think it's dangerous? Would you do it on your car? Let me know what you think. And then uh, I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the other side on and see how it looks and take it for a drive, but uh, I wanna hear what you guys think. All right, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.